Hi, welcome to uh, Math as a Language. In this video, today's topic is order of operations. Uh, we're going to continue our discussions uh, of order of operations. And we started this discussion briefly when we were talking about uh, algebraic expressions. I think we did one at the end of that video. But uh, this lesson, this today, we're going to commit the, uh, this entire video just to, to that topic and that topic alone. Uh, of course, when we talk about order of operations, we're talking about the basic operations that we do in mathematics. Uh, let's let's start with just a, a basic uh, four four operations that we that we counter more often than not in, in basic mathematics. Basic mathematics, we can have four. Let's go with plus five uh, times uh, eight, perhaps divided by two, and then we're going to subtract twelve from that. Okay, so here is a very basic math problem with our four. Um, operations, if you will, uh, addition, uh, multiplication, division, and subtraction. And and the thing about mathematics, now, we, we have to make this point and we, we make it clear, algebra in particular, but math in general, uh, and there's two aspects of mathematics that we, we cannot ignore and it's absolutely important. We say that math is a language, and it is. However, that it's a le very precise language, and the reason why that we we use mathematics more often than not is that we don't want, we want to avoid ambiguity. If you have English expressions, you know those things could be are open to interpretation. Mathematics we doesn't have that luxury. We can't have things open to interpretations, so we we want it to be accurate. So with mathematics, we want accuracy. Uh, that's tantamount, and and we want it also to be efficient. We want to do things in the most efficient way when we when we're doing mathematics. Okay, so accuracy and efficiency are the two um, aspects, qualities of mathematics that we're that, that that math brings to the table above and beyond the English language, if you will. Okay, so let's go back to our problem here, and we're going to go ahead and figure out do this problem. We have to resolve this issue. We have addition, multiplication, so forth and on. Now. There's, there's a one approach that you could go about it, and you say, well, okay, uh, let me get to rewrite it here below. 4 plus 5 times 8 divided by 2 minus 12. Now, here's what, we're, what we want to get across. Now, if you were to add these guys here, some people might say, oh, well, let's go ahead and add these guys, and, 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 and then we'll divide these later. Or if you like division better, you'll divide first. But it, here's the thing. You don't get to choose in mathematics that way. Okay, We have an order in which we have to perform these operations, these four, and we'll look at another one later. But these four operations are not equal in terms of their hierarchy in this order that we're talking about. So let's get to the point. In terms of a problem like this, if you have these basic four functions, the ones that you would do first is the multiplication and division. Multiplication and division. Those two are of of equal value. They are at the same level in terms of, of operations, and you would do whichever one of those guys you encounter from left to right. Therefore, in this problem, the first if you go from left to right, the first operation of these two that you encounter is this multiplication and therefore you need to do this multiplication first. We need to do that first so we're going to go ahead and keep our 4 plus 5 times 8 becomes a 40. All right. All right and then we'll go ahead and finish off the rest of this guy divided by 2 divided by 2 minus 12. All right let's clean that up a little bit here. All right, let's put our 12 there. Okay, so that's done. Now again, we took care of the multiplication first, and now this division is second. If, we, if we'd encountered that first from left to right, we would have done it first, but since it's the, the second uh, operation that we encounter uh, in regards to these two, we're going to go ahead and do that next. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this 40 divided by uh, 2 here. So we're going to keep the 4 plus 40 divided by 2 is 20 minus 12 minus 12 and finally those two are done now in terms of the other operations after we've done our our adding our multiplication and division at the at the first level we we now can now do our adding or subtracting adding or subtracting 
and we again do those guys also from left to right but they but the multiplication and division comes first prior to in, to even entertaining these guys so let's go ahead and do that now and we'll do that from left to right this addition comes first we'll get our 24 24 minus 12 and we're almost done 24 minus 12 we'll get our final answer of 12 24 minus 12 is 12 all right so in this case we had our very uh, four basic operations adding multiplication division and subtraction but in terms of order of operations the first one that took priority above anything else was the multiplication or division from left to right second level we step down a level after we've done these two guys first then we do any addition or subtraction again from left to right okay all right now I know there's some of you out there and we'll get to it right now saying well there must there's more to it than that and and in fact yes there are there's yes there is all right so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a second problem and try to cover all of the other bases if you will let's go with a 4 plus 5 to the second power squared times let's do this we're gonna use this symbol for times again we in algebra we'll, we'll we'll get this to the variable so right now we can use that for times we're gonna go with a 3 plus 2 got that quantity raised to the second power let's divide it by we're trying to cover all of our various uh, operations if you will uh, subtract 5 and let's go ahead uh, divide it by 5 and let's take away 6 all right so what do we have here we have addition we have uh, multiplication using that symbol we have addition we have a grouping symbol here it's being squared divided by 5 minus 6 all right now again let's cut to the chase I know it's quite a few of you out there who are saying where is he gonna get to it let's get to it now we're gonna go ahead and, and use there's an acronym out there that's very popular that helps us in terms of remembering how to do this uh, these order these operations if you will and that that uh, acronym as many of you know is referred to as PEMDAS okay PEMDAS let's get to it so now as you know um, um, not to be too coy about it this the PEMDAS this acronym the P E M D A S the P stands for the parentheses alright so now these guys also have a pecking order alright they're not all equal in terms of what you do first and so forth and on let's go ahead and do it this way we're going to go ahead and um, I like to dramatically uh, put this across uh, the parentheses or the exponents those guys are at the highest level we will do those first as we encounter them and we always do them from left to right all right so let's go ahead and put those all down first we'll so we'll see what this means and then in terms of PEMDAS we have to step down you now you step down a level when you get to the to the to the next order of operations these two operations your multiplication and division they're not at the same level as the parentheses and the exponents so we're going to go ahead and do our multiplication multiplication and division those guys at are at a lower level to come after you've taken care of these guys and finally those operations I should say and last but not least let's go ahead and drop it down one more level and then we'll take care of any addition additions or subtractions okay so the way it works is this one more time you first as you scan from left to right we're gonna look for parentheses first or any exponents if we have anything being raised to a power we'll do those as we encounter them from left to right next down we're going to look for any multiplications that we have to do any products or any division quotients that have to be performed let's clean that up just a little bit okay that's better divisions we're going to do those from left to right as well and then last but not least we take care of any additions or subtractions and again from left to right all right so I like this stair step measure method because it really emphasizes that the the equality between the parentheses and the exponents at the multiplication division at the addition subtraction but also how the the order does they're, they're not all on the same level in terms of, of priority all right so we're going to go ahead now let's do this the efficient way here I'm going to go ahead and copy this problem and we'll paste it down here so that we we can uh, we don't have to we don't have to rewrite the whole thing okay here we go and we're done with that excellent let's go ahead and make sure our two is 
two is clear. Let's put that. Okay, now we're that's a two. All right, let's go ahead and do the problem, and let's see if we can kind of get this. Yeah, that's perfect. We have our our little uh, our uh, acronym and our uh, our uh, diagram that helps us keep these things in order. So we're looking for any parentheses or exponents from left to right. Now the first exponents that we will we'll encounter is the one right here. So that means that this guy has to be taken care of first. So it must be performed first. So we have 4 plus this becomes a 25. All right. Times now this grouping symbol we have to combine these guys first. So 3 plus 2 is 5. That's squared. And then we have our, our divided by 5 minus 6. Now it's not a big deal, but I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in parentheses, uh, group this parentheses so that we'll know that we, we performed this operation to get that 5, the result of this, this, uh, this priority uh, grouping that we have here. All right. Now, also, too, this, this exponent also has to be performed, so we're going to go ahead and rewrite this one more time. We're going to take our 4 plus 25. We don't need that color code anymore because we already performed it here. Plus, uh, times. Now, this is being performed. We're going to take that exponent. 5 times 5, of course, is 25. Divided by 5. Minus six. All right. So we're done. We, we've taken care of any, the exponents here, the grouping symbol. We also took care of that exponent, and that was as, as, as those operations were performed as a result of this first uh, priority grouping, if you will, the parentheses and the exponents. Now we're going to step down. We're going to look for multiplications or divisions. Again, we're going to scan like we do for the supermarket scanners, or scan from left to right and see if we encounter any multiplications or divisions. And again, we're using this as a multiplication symbol. Later in algebra, we will avoid this x, of course. But we're going to go ahead and take care of this multiplication first because it's the first one that we encounter. 4 plus 25 times 25 is uh, 625, I believe. 625 divided by 5 uh, minus 6. All right, now here's an important step here, too. This is looks pretty tempting, and many students would hard to resist this. However, we must, because again, in terms of order of operation, this division must be taken care of, must be performed first, because it's the, it, it's, it's again, it's at the same level as the multiplication here. So multiplication or division from left to right. So we're going to have to go ahead and perform this division first. Now we have 4 uh, plus, now that's going to be 125, I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> minus 6. All right, so we took care of the mul uh, multiplication and division from left to right. And finally, we're almost there. We're at the adding or subtracting le subtraction level, and we're going to do those guys also from left to right and take care of that. So 125 plus 4, that's 129 minus 6. And 129 minus 6 is 123. Now, the reason I paused earlier is when I, 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 I do prefer that you just continue scanning from left to right and and some of you may say okay it really doesn't matter you can long as you long but again it, let us just put this point to be it doesn't matter as long as you're doing operations that are uh, of the same order at, at, at the same level so yes if you if you're performing multiplication and division and they're at the same level you can skip around and you don't have to go left to right but just for the sake of consistency and, and being careful about it and, and being because it really doesn't matter I would prefer that you just go from left to right I'm sure your teacher may prefer it as well or not but after all said and done just be sure that you recognize that there's an order to the operations you cannot do uh, just do things arbitrarily Math is a language, but again, the mathematics, the language of mathematics is very precise, and the thing that we want with mathematics, let's make it clear here, that in, ma in math, when you perform it, you can't just arbitrarily check, do anything you want, because we, we, we have to be accurate in mathematics. Accuracy is absolutely tantamount to what we do. 
All right, and of course we want to be efficient. All right, and there's lots of rules in mathematics which helps us with our accu accuracy and efficiency, and the order of operations just happens to be one of those. It's, it helps us to make sure that we're all on the same page and we get accurate answers. All right, thanks for visiting, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.